Hey guys, it's Jackie and in today's video I'm going to show you guys four different hairstyles for short to medium length hair. So if you have hair that's similar to my length, these are going to be great for you. But if you have longer hair, this will also be great too. So these all incorporate braids because it's springtime and I'm all about braids and that's one thing I miss about having long hair. I want to do so many more braided hair tutorials that I just can't do with this length hair, but I am going to show you four different styles of braids that you can do with short to medium length hair. So if you are interested in finding out how to get these looks, then just keep watching. It's easier to braid your hair when your hair has a little bit of texture to it. So if it's clean and silky smooth, I would recommend using some dry shampoo. This is going to give our hair that texture it needs to hold on to a braid. So I'm just going to shake that out and we are ready to begin. So for this first look, you want to grab a small section of hair in front of the ear and divide that into three sections. And now we are going to create a Dutch braid. And a Dutch braid is just like a French braid, but the only difference is the middle strand goes over the side strands. So, and if you don't know how to French braid, I will be sure to leave a link to a really good tutorial in the description box for you guys. So we're just going to braid it as far back as we can go and then secure it with a little elastic and do the same to the next side. And as you can tell, this hair in the middle is still a little too short to braid. So now all I'm going to do is just twist that all up and then secure it with a few bobby pins. And I know I got a lot of baby hairs, my boyfriend calls me a werewolf, <laughs> but anyways, now I'm just going to add a flower to hide the bobby pins and all the messiness, and this look is complete. So now moving on to look number two, which is actually my favorite. So what you want to do is kind of brush your hair all the way back and a little sideways, and I'm going to take a section of hair from one side of my head, and then again we're going to do a Dutch braid. So basically, you want to braid, but like I mentioned before, the middle strand is going over the side strands, and you just grab some hair, like pick up some hair from the sides to incorporate that into your braid. And that's basically how you do a Dutch braid. So I'm going to keep doing this and slowly try to get my braid to go diagonal like this. It looks different every time I do this hairstyle, so yours may look different when you try this out, but I'm just going to braid this down. And once I get to the back of my head, I am just going to secure it with an elastic. And now what you're going to want to do is grab all of your hair and put it into a high ponytail. Sadly, this is as high as my ponytail can go because my hair is still a little too short. And I'm just going to bobby pin any little baby hairs that are flying out. So what I like to do for the front is pull a few hairs down on the side to frame my face and pull out the hair just so it's a little messy. And now this look is complete. I love this one, it's so cute. So now for look number three, we are going to grab a small section of hair in the front, about this size, and we're going to do the basic braids. So you don't have to French braid for this, this is like the easiest hairstyle of all of them. So braid down and leave about a good inch and a half worth of hair when you tie it at the bottom because we're going to be pulling out the hair like so. This makes the braid bigger, fuller, and more dimensional. So now I'm just going to bobby pin this behind my ear and then have a little bit of hair covering the bobby pin. And there we go. Now we're just going to repeat the same thing on the next side. So just a regular simple braid. Like I said, this is the easiest hairstyle of all of them. And then I'm going to pull out the hair starting from the bottom. Or pull out the braid or stretch it out. There you go. That's what I meant. And again, we're just going to bobby pin this behind the ear and lay some hair over it to cover the bobby pins. And that is it for look number three. And now moving on to look number four, which is the last look. This one, you will need a deep side part. And I'm going to grab a small section close to the part, just like this, and we are going to create a Dutch braid. I'm all about Dutch braids. They are my favorite. I prefer these way more than the typical um, French braid. So you are just going to create a Dutch braid all the way down your hair until you get to about your ear, and then secure it with an elastic and then just bobby pin it behind your ear to hide the elastic and the end of the braid and now this look is complete. 
but if you want to take this look one step further, you can actually gather all of your hair into a low ponytail. And I just, of course, I like to pull out the hair, make it a little messy, and have some hairs frame my face. And there you go, here is another look. I guess this is look number five. <laughs> And if all else fails, just grab a flower headband. These are just so effortless and perfect for spring and there's no work to it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these looks. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you try any of these looks out, I would love to see a picture. So please send me a picture on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and you can use the hashtag JackJack so that I can easily find it. And I think that's about it. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, have a magical day.